flood of product on the market at a time when the economies are going down. So you can see where the war is heading. That's right. And Iraq just said they're going to flood the market. That's one reason they set up Saddam is he was trying to pay off his debts, flooding the market back in 1990. Exactly. And then again, tying it all together economically, I've made this very clear before. You're seeing the manufacturing index coming out of China. It's down. You're seeing slowdowns. Oh, by the way, durable good orders came out uh, yesterday in the U.S. and they were way off figure it out of course oh, by unexpectedly down in december well you look at the the new on the new employment numbers in december there were only seventy four thousand. so what's the bottom line they're they're going to start turning down the qe how much you think they're going to do it what's going to happen in the next year gerald salente here's my forecast you're looking at the markets already as we're talking they're fluctuating between almost 200 down to 120 down the, the markets in Europe took a hit. They're all taking a hit. They have to flood the markets with money. They're not going to do it for a while. And you're going to see the equity markets continue to decline. Interest rates go up. The economy goes down. They're going to come out with a new scam by, I believe, by the end of the second quarter of this year. It's, they're not going to call it quantitative easing. They're not going to call it stimulus. Now with Ben Bernanke out of there, maybe they'll call it Yellenomics or something for the new person, the front for the for the for the bankers. They're going to come out with another round of stimulus. They have to do it. They're going to do it in Europe. They're going to do it in China. And when they do it, you're going to see gold prices skyrocket. We believe that uh, when they announce the next round of stimulus, which they're going to have to do, when you're looking at the numbers only, that's when you're going to see gold prices skyrocket. Our forecast is the downside of gold is only between 100 and 150. That's not a lot because it's going to cost you 1200 bucks just to pull this stuff out of the market. And by the way, when you look at the Goldman Sachs gang, and they're the ones that keep driving down the price of gold, coming out with their announcements of how low it's going to be, and you look at their track record over the last three years, they have been off on virtually every one of them, but they're manipulating the market as Dr. Paul Craig Roberts keeps pulling showing everyone how they're doing it. And if you don't think they're manipulating the markets, guess what? They manipulated the LIBOR markets. They set sets interest rates at the tone, the tune of some seven hundred trillion dollars. Well, it's on record they're manipulating all the markets. It's all exactly. rigged. It's a fact. They're manipulating the Forex markets. Those are the currency markets. It's a fact. So the fact is that when gold prices go up, they're going to try to drive them down. But here's what's different. I bought my first buy of gold at 187.50 an ounce back in the late 70s. I also bought it at the highest point of the trading day, the day it collapsed uh, at 875. It closed at 850. The next day it went down 50 bucks. Here's what's different. Back then, you didn't have physical demand that's skyrocketing throughout Asia and the rest of the world, even in the United States. The mints are running 24 hours a day in Austria. They can't keep up with demand for, for physical metal. That didn't happen in 1980. I was there. Back in 1980, China wasn't buying like they are now. Now the largest buyer of physical metals. China was just getting off the Mao trip. They had no GDP. India? No, they weren't buying much either. Russia? How much is Russia buying now? Back then, everything east of Berlin was locked No, no, up. absolutely. They can only suppress it so long. That's why I've never sold an ounce of gold or silver I've bought, and I'm totally confident. But expanding on that, Gerald, speaking of the Mao trip, people are over the globalist, big government, fake neoliberal neocon garbage people all the poll shows six percent approval rating for congress obama plunging what will the establishment do to get itself out of this again it goes back to that line he threw out about syria when all else fails they take you to war 
I've been writing about this for, look, go around the world. You have a civil war going on in Egypt, one going on in, in Turkey. It's a civil war. You have one in Yemen, one in Bahrain. The, the Saudi Arabians are freaking out. Their poverty levels are skyrocketing. Their income is declining. You have a civil war in Libya, thanks to those wonderful women, Hillary Clinton, Samantha Powers, and Susan Rice, that started that war, I mean, egged Obama into that time-limited, scope-limited kinetic action, a civil war, a civil war in Syria. You have riots going on continually that are not making the news. The pitchfork movement in Italy, the people in Greece, in Spain. You mentioned about Ukraine joining the European Union. Oh yeah, brilliant. Join the European Union, you could become like Greece. You could become like Spain. You could have 27% unemployment rate. Join on up. Oh, and by the way, we're going to bring the multinationals in and steal all your dough. Isn't globalism look great? Look what's going on in Thailand. We'll stay there. We'll come right back, Gerald. Gerald Salente is on fire. I'm Alex Jones. What if you could shift into a parallel universe right now and be the solution to any problem you're facing? I'm Matthew David Hurtado, CEO of RNA Drops and author of Misfit to Millions, based on my true life story. Four years ago, I was dying with PTSD, Lyme's disease, and virtually homeless. Ion and the RNA Drops gave me a new life, new DNA, and the power to become a millionaire in just a few short years. I want to pay that forward to you. Get a copy of my book, Misfit to Millions, and I'll give you a free bottle of the RNA Drops, the product that saved my life. I've got $199 in free bonus gifts for the first 200 people that go to MisfitToMillions.com. That's M-I-S-F-I-T-T-O millions.com or call 888-550-8231. That's 888-550-8231. Take your power back. By now, you may know that a Bitcoin is the first decentralized currency that's easily transferred from person to person over the Internet. No bank needed. This means lower fees and accounts can never be frozen, limited, or closed. Plus, a large number of businesses and merchants already accept Bitcoins. And Bitcoins are easily exchanged for dollars, euros, and more. If you're interested in making money in the Bitcoin market right away, and by right away we mean start making money today, please visit us at cloudhashing.com. Cloudhashing.com is one of the fastest growing Bitcoin miners in the world, delivering the highest profits to people just like you. To get started, join us at cloudhashing.com and you will start mining bitcoins right away and get paid daily. You heard correctly. You will receive payments every single day. And the best part? You do not need a computer or need any experience in mining bitcoins. It's perfect for everyone. Learn more at cloudhashing.com. Just like it sounds, cloudhashing.com. Start making money today at cloudhashing.com. We travel so much, and having a fake TV, well, it gives added peace of mind. Burglars look for houses that appear to be easy targets. But fake TV can fool even professional burglars into thinking someone is home watching television. As a recent widow living alone, it gives me great peace of mind to set my fake TV near a window and know that passing motors and pedestrians will think someone is home watching TV when I'm actually away from home. Fake TV easily plugs into any outlet, just like a light on a timer. And they're so easy to use, you just plug them in and they're ready to go. Plus, they're so affordable that we have one upstairs and downstairs. Fake TV is only $29.95 with free shipping. Order your fake TV by calling 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. Could. I've got to go on Jesse Ventura's new TV slash radio show. He's on next week, former governor of Minnesota. Again, uh, final segment here with Gerald Salente. Gerald, I've got so many questions and things to raise, but you know what? I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to ask you what else you think is front and center and uh, really, really uh, important. Again, you know, as I was just saying, take a look what's going on in Thailand. People haven't left the streets now in two months. 
And then you go over to look what's going on in Cambodia. The people are tired of working for 61 bucks a month, and the, and the police are beating the hell out of them, but they're not leaving the streets. The same thing in, in Bangladesh. How can you forget what's going on over there in Japan? Abenomics, brilliant. Dump tons of money into the system. The exports are way down, and it's not doing anything. But what is happening is that he keeps increasing the tension between Japan and China. So and then you look what's going on down there in Argentina. Oh, yeah, their, their pesos collapse. The people are out in the streets. Go over to Brazil, same thing. The people are tired of being poor, and they're tired of the corruption. What I'm saying, Alex, and I've said this now, everybody's starting to kind of pick it up now in the media. It looks a lot like it did before World War I. A very unnecessary war. And the reason you got in there was because you had a lot of stupid people that were in charge, both in the military and in government. And you have the same thing going on now. You got losers. You that have just hit the key is that I look at the political elite now and they're real good at robbing us and real good at saying they know everything. But really, they've got horrible families. They're horrible people. They're stupid. And, and the public is either dumb or awake. I mean, this is a disaster. And I agree with you. A lot of historians, and you were saying this years ago, but now they're saying, yeah, get ready for World War I, World War II. The climate that we see lining up says World War III. Exactly. It was the top trend that we had last year. Top trends of 2014, uh, 2013 was war and showing the lead up to it. That's my greatest concern because you saw what happened last night with Obama. Everybody, you know, I wrote about it in the last Trends Journal how I almost went broke back in, in uh, the early 2000s, 2003, the top trends I wrote. Now, remember, this is, you know, it comes out in December of 20, uh, 2002. The, the war just started in, in um, it wasn't even a year old. Absolutely. In, uh, We're out of time. I, I said, I, I, I'm going to have you back on. No, you predicted it all. I want to have you back on, but in the minute and a half we got left, what do you make of Obama and the media trying to sell the idea of him as a dictator that, he, that, that then he can fix everything? I mean, this is getting crazy. Well, again, it, it, this is what the setup is. This is what I'm trying to say. You saw how they, they championed this guy last night. It was one of the longest rounds of applause of any state of the union. When they mentioned the troops, they mentioned war. All we need is one, fl one, little, one little terror thing. You saw what happened in Boston when they called martial law, when the police went into people's houses without warrants. They can have a false flag or a real terror strike, and the flags, will, the made in China American flags will come out, and people will be tying yellow ribbons around everything. That's my greatest fear, and that's what the people have to stand up that's to, right. as they did when they wanted to take us to war with Syria and say no. Very well said. I mean, bottom line, we're on the edge of catastrophe. The stars have aligned historically. My gut tells me. I've never, my gut's always right. It, Gerald, my gut's 10 times the dread I've ever had. And, and what do you think it is? The economic collapse, the war, it all comes together. All comes together. When, when the economic, look, what's going on now with this tapering, again, you're seeing what's going on with the emerging markets. They need the money. They need that monetary heroin. They can't survive without. Gerald, things are moving too quick. Will you come back next week to talk about war? I'd love to. Thank you. All right, you. next week, we'll, we'll set you up right now. Thank you so much, sir. You are listening to GCN. Nightly News tonight, 7. Visit GCNlive.com Spread the word. Today. Warn the people. PrisonPlanet.tv. Great job, Gerald. Great job, crew. Introducing.